We have a special guest with us today, Robbie Ingebretson. Robbie, thanks for coming. Yeah. Can you just tell us real quickly, like, what do you do? Because you're kind of like you do a lot, right? Um, I do, yeah, well, <laughs> like <laughs> I do a skills. lot. Sure, yeah, I do a little bit of design and a little bit of development. I think that's, okay. So I'm sort of... Um, a so, diviner? <laughs> I've been called a diviner. Right, yeah. yeah, okay. Um, by so, me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, by the four people who like that word. Uh -huh. um, so, uh, yeah, I do a little bit of design, a little bit of development, sort of in the middle. I, the way I think about it is I am really passionate about that, like, sort of uppermost layer of UI, which okay. is the, the part that you, um, you know, as a user, experience the most. And so, to, you know, to do a lot in there, you have to write some code, and you have to be able to do some right. design, and so I've develop the a set of skills that let me play in that space. And you specialize in WPF and Silverlight? Yeah. Could you say that? Yeah. You could definitely okay. say that. All right. Um, so do you want me to run you through some of the, yeah. the features? Yeah. Show us what you got. Okay. So, um, well, I'll, I'll just kind of walk you through quickly what the UI is. So, I mean, it's really standard UI. You type down here. This is an editor. Right. I will so just do something simple. Uh, so the background on this. That's throwing me off, by the way. Um, so then that'll parse. So, so then you can see, you know, your content gets rendered up here. Um, we also have a multi-tabbed environment. So if you hit Control T, you get a new tab. Or oh, cool. if you hit Control L, you get a new Silverlight tab. So now Ooh. this is actually all Silverlight. You can see if, like, I'll create a button, and you'll see the the famous Silverlight uh, control style there. So you can know that it's Silverlight. Uh huh. Um, we, you also get uh, you know custom error messages and stuff like that. So if we were to type in some garbage there, then you'll notice that that goes to black and white, and uh -huh. you get this nice little thing right here, and it'll even take you to your error. Then so the, the other thing I was going to show you, though, the last thing is snippets, uh -huh. and this is my little plug for snippets. Um, two things in here that are worth knowing. First of all, the getting started with the XAML snippets mm -hmm. are super handy if you are trying to you know if this is like your first time sitting down with XAML. Yeah. All you need to do is install Vista and then install Kazam. Actually, that's why I've kept it 3.0, so that you can use it on a fresh Vista installation. Okay. And, um, and then there's a bunch of snippets here that are just like a really basic way to, I don't know, find your way around the XAML mm -hmm. world. So like, um, this is kind of cool. And you've got the, this data binding thing. You can, we can drag this in here. And, um, and this, so this oh, is cool. grabbing a Flickr feed. Yeah, and then you can come and see here. I mean, how easy data binding is, right? So here you've got your items control. This is the XML data provider that's grabbing the feed, and you can see right here where the binding takes place. Mm -hmm. So there's the source. Anyway, just a really super simple way to. Well, it's like a quick start. Yeah, you don't have to copy and paste the text. It's already there and it's already running. So yeah, well, that's and, yeah, that's true. And and you can also tweak things, right? So yeah. you, then you could come in here and I don't know. We can make these bigger, say. Um, it's the size of the those images. Like your image scale. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, anyway, so that, that's handy, I think, for people who are just getting started.